Testing, testing, seems to be working. Yes, the OBS and my microphone weren't cooperating. Anyway, Deuce Dogwood back with another stream, hopefully. Hopefully my internet doesn't crap out like it did last night. It's pretty infuriating. But uh, we're going to do it. We're going to get through these Atari 2600 games of 1982. Maybe not all of them tonight, but hopefully a good portion. Um, thank you for following and watching and spreading the word if you are. I really appreciate it. Let me throw something in chat here. Okay. Well, everything seems good right now. The microphone is working, I hope. Um, Internet's holding up after a couple of minutes here, so that's good. All right, let's launch right into these vintage games. Let's see where we left off. Oh, you know what? I didn't upload my spreadsheet to Google Docs so you could access it and check out what I've played so far on stream and uh, my my ratings, my Ratings of the fun factors for all of these games. I gotta remember to do that. It just slips my mind. So this is the seventh episode of Deuce Dogwood's Retro Show. We left off with a game called Frogs and Flies. That was the last game played on the last stream while I was fighting my internet. So that means we get to pick up things with a game called Gopher. which sounds absolutely thrilling. Gopher. Oh yeah. Let me pull up the old manual from atariage.com. I got too many, too many cords here. And I can go over there. Gracias amigos. Gopher. Don't even know her. Gophers is a one or two player game. Gophers have launched a merciless assault on your carrot patch. <laughs> oh, hot damn. Grab your shovel and fill those fill those holes before they tunnel out and, and eat your choice carrots. I can't speak tonight. If it's not the internet, it's the microphone. If it's not those, it's my tongue. Uh, with no time to run back to the barn for more seeds to plant, it's a good thing that Crazy Duck keeps flying by dropping... Wow, the grammar in this is really awful. So I want game one and basically playing for points. So I, I'll play until I lose all my lives. Okay, I see what's going on here. Oh. Okay. Don't see what's going on here. You only get one life. You know, you know, why does this keep? This was crashing too. Bizhawk, my emulator, was kept crashing last night. I don't, I don't know why. Okay, so that's kind of cheap. How can you get... So no matter what... So they have... The holes have to be at grass level, right? and you have to go all the way across. Oh, oh, that 
That sound was horrible. All right, I've played Gopher. That was uh, the fun. So my fun ratings, uh, not fun, meh, kind of fun, and yay fun. And this was a hell no. Hell not fun. I mean, what kind of cheap shit is that? Uh, they're playing hints. Stay somewhat centered in the carrot patch. You can bonk the gopher on the head as he emerges from his hole or anywhere above ground as he runs for a carrot. Yeah, I tried doing that. Did not work. Whatever. Moving on. So hopefully something better. Gorf is not found. Why is the file not found? Because it's right here in my list. Gorf. It's going to be one of those nights, I think. Weird stuff is afoot. Let me check my text. I got a text. Spam. Y'all get spam texts too? Really? These companies have no shame. So uh, next up is something called GORF. G-O-R-F. And... I hope the game is better than the title. Joystick controller. It's a space shooter. The object of GORF is to accumulate points. So we're playing for points. However, it looks like there are four missions. The game ends when all of your interstellar space fighters have been destroyed by the robot warriors of the Gorfian Empire. There are nine levels of mission sequences, each one more difficult than the last. So there are nine missions, and if you, I guess, beat all nine, then you can call it quits. Or lose all the lives and then call it quits. Oh, this is basically space invasion. Okay, so you can fire one at a time. And that laser will go all the way to the top. Or you could fire many. Many shots. This is just a variation of space invasion. completely sucking at. So I'm guessing I have to kill that thing that's flying around. So I was too busy looking at that. Why why is my phone friggin' blowing up right now? I don't know what any of this is. Leave me alone. Oh, was that it? So that's the game. It's... Here's what it is. Oh, you can, you can shoot their lasers. And their shots. I don't even know if they're lasers. So it's almost like they were like, Hey, we got the source code for Space Invaders. Let's add some shit, you know? And I'm sure this is from another game.
Mutually assured destruction. Okay. This is the thing. Oh, no. Okay, so my lasers can shoot the little electrical pulse thing. All right, that's Gorf. Man, I am flying through these. That was not fun. I'm not really a fan of these space shooters or space shooters in general. So let's move on. Uh, racing game. I'm even a less of a fan of racing games. Grames. Why did I close that? So next up should be Grand Prix. Oh, this looks special. Let me pull up the manual to see if I can actually play it because if this is a paddle game or something else, I can't get my I can't get the paddle controls to work with my mouse. And frankly, it's just not worth the aggravation to try. Uh, it's a typical early Activision title, which means it's going to be simple. Race around the finish line in the shortest time possible. It's a joystick. There are four different games. Um, red accelerates. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do this. I'm going to have to push. Oh, okay. I get it now. Oh. I thought we were going to see, like, a major crash. I liked that. The sound where you pass uh, a bunch of cars and it... The, the sound aligns with what you see. Did you just crash into me on purpose, dude? So we got some oil slicks. Should probably avoid those. So this is kind of a... Is that it? I guess that's it. A uh, variation of probably many 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 other games but it kind of reminded me of barnstorming except like backwards if that makes sense let's try that again oh, i did not note my time not that it matters So you're not really racing against the other cars. You're just trying to get the fastest time. Forty-eight seconds. Barely forty-eight seconds. Let's do that one more time. See if I can beat 48.99. wonder if the other cars are in the same position or if it's random. Seems a little random. I'm 
pretty sure I could have come to that. Yeah, I didn't. I was not near him. I did not beat the time. But yeah, that, that hit detection, that was, that was not good. So I guess there are other games. Game two. Let's try game two. I hit that one. Over here. So, so far, our game two seems to be more of the same. Oh, a bridge. Okay, so it's not more. Well, I mean, it is more of the same. Bridge. Good, it's over. All right, Grand Prix is done. Um, that wasn't really fun. I mean, the hit detection was a little wonky. Don't necessarily agree with it. All right. Moving on, moving on. Looks like I won't be playing the next game on the list because I don't have it. Which is fine. It's the less I have to deal with. Um, so next up, hopefully, is Inca Gold, which seems derivative of Donkey, Donkey Kong, Burger Time. Let's pull up the manual. Inca Gold gets a rare plus rating on Atari Age. And there is no manual. No manual. All right, so Inca Gold, I'm just gonna wing it, I guess. See what happens. That's totally not Mario, by the way. Oh, wow. Am I supposed to be dodging those? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just like Mario and Donkey Kong, he can't land on his feet, you know. So how the hell am I going to make that jump if you like that? And I ran into him. So I'm guessing the goal is to get to the top and not really hit anything. I, but I made it. I, I, I made it. Yeah, the reason this game is, is rare is because it's awful. 
At least they give you five lives. Oh, you have a timer, too. Oh, wow. So... All right, I'll try it one more time. As far as Donkey Kong ripoffs go, this is pretty bad. So, do the spiders move on their own? And we're just gonna repeat. So this is an endurance test. Okay, I thought, okay, I was just making sure that the screen didn't wrap. But I made it. All right, I'm done with Inca Gold. If you're gonna cheat, I'm gonna turn you off. Inca Gold. I mean, I did, I did hit the platform, right? I mean, I'm not upset or anything, but I would like a little validation here. Let's move on on the list. Um, next game says it's an action strategy game. So I'm sure that'll be painful. Oh, and I have it. It's called Infiltrate. Infil... There is a manual. Ay, ay, ay. The situation. You are a secret agent on a mission of crucial importance. Your mission is to infiltrate a top secret fortress. You must capture enemy documents and get out alive. Your challenge? I thought that was the challenge. Okay, let's move on. Uh, one player, joystick. What is the... Okay, that does that. There are game variations. One through six are one player games. We're just going to play on the most basic. Because I really don't care. Um, it looks like... Just playing for points, so... I will play until I get tired or lose all my lives. Oh, wow. We oh, can duck. Okay. Can I get off? Thanks. Oh, they can shoot too. So getting on the on the elevator is tough, but he goes pretty fast, almost too fast when you want him to get off. Like that, like that. I, I just backed into him because the controls suck. And you can't fire on the elevator. Come on. So what now? Is that it? Do I have to go back down? Well, at least you can't fall. I mean, do I really have to go back down? Yeah, I tried to get off, but I hit it. I, I shot it. All right. That is infiltrate. <laughs> Are we going to play a good game tonight? Probably not. Knock on wood, at least my internet's holding up, unlike last night. 
Um, the next game on the list would be international soccer, but I hate soccer. So I'm not playing that. Jawbreaker. Do I have this? It appears that I do. Oh, wow, this looks great. Why am I playing these? Well, I kind of grew up with the Atari 2600. So I'm kind of reliving those those days and kind of hoping to discover some good shit. Jawbreaker, I found the manual. You're in a candy factory filled with candy bars, smiling faces, and sliding doors. Score points by munching candy bars as you maneuver through the maze. But watch out for the smiling faces. They'll munch you. Eat the vitamin pill. Oh, I see. The, the transcription sucks. Um, ba 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 ba. So basically. Playing for score. Uh, so game one is fast. So I want game number five, which is slow. Because I want to prolong the agony here. So, how do I change? The game number will be displayed in the top right border of the maze. Okay, I see, I see. So, I want game five. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, okay. Okay, so what just happened there? So it looks like, oh, okay, I can go through there. It just wasn't letting me. Nope. Oh, don't. What, what, how? I don't think they beta tested games. Atari games back then? Probably not, considering they released like 4 billion in 1982. Let's move on, shall we? We shall. Oh, the next game is going to be real good. Back when you could make a game about anything. Journey, escape. That sounds good. I hate this song. You're on the road with Journey, one of the world's hottest rock groups. A spectacular performance has just ended. Now it's up to you to guide each Journey band member past hordes of love crazed groupies. Sneak, sneaky photographers. Oh my god, the run on sentence is insane. You must lead all five members of Journey through waves. Yeah, I, I just read that. Um, so I guess when that's done, the game's over, or when I turn it off. Love crazed groupies. Yeah, I don't know what, what that was. 
Huh. I, okay. So that's stuff I can collect for more points, I guess. Or not. So does the time limit mean I just have to survive for this amount of time? Or should I be doing something? Don't know. Let's go back to the manual because I obviously missed something. And yes, it's a manual, but. Oh wow, this looks complicated. It looks so complicated. But where's the escape vehicle? Like, do I just have to keep running? Like, towards the top of the screen? Like, oh. No idea. No idea. Journey, escape. A lot of hell no ratings. Hell no, that wasn't fun. I'm not even sure it was a game. I mean, sometimes I want to give these games another shot, like actually try to play, but this isn't one of those times. So the next game, we are not playing that on stream. I would probably get banned. There are um, several adult Atari 2600 games. I will not be playing those on this stream. However, I think I might um, play them, make a video, and upload the video to BitChute and a couple of other platforms that are more uh, edgy so you won't be finding this one on uh, YouTube when I put it together like Custer's Revenge you know stuff like that next up is something simply called Karate oh this is going to be painful Karate so it's possible there's no manual there so this game okay no manual has a rarity rating of a 10 which means it's unbelievably rare and with probably a good reason this might be a two-player game I, I don't know Oh, it just crashed. So we won't be playing this at all, which is fine. Totally fine. Wow, it really did crash, didn't it? So let me just delete it. Wow. Delete. Moving on. Okay, this is this. Hmm. Okay, I do have this. The next game up on the list is Killer Satellites. Okay, 
Oh good, there's a manual scan, so I get to strain my eyes. Um, it has, yeah, okay, that's great. All right, there's, there's, there's space stuff. It's a space shooter, I mean. It looks overly complicated for what it is. I'll give it a minute. Oh, so it's like a Defender ripoff. Like, I'm pretty sure those ships... Whoa! Showed up in Defender. Feel like a winner. Um, I guess it was supposed to do that. I don't know. Okay, where are you? Well, am I supposed to be getting? Huh. Nice. So I wonder if I'm like if there's one of those bars up there is a fuel bar. Okay, when I fire the uh, brown bar, cruise. Oh, What's well, this is more fun than? Defender, I don't like Defender. Charge it. Oh, I can't fire because I overheat it. Yeah, the controls are kind of flow.
Well, this is kind of fun. I am losing interest. satellites for the Atari 2600. And sadly, this will probably be the best game I play tonight. Where are the others? Oh, Show up on the radar. Oh, Oh no, the ships are, are, are wavering. That's why it seems floatier than usual. Oh, is that what the green is? How many um, buildings are still... I think that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Classes keep slipping. So I guess I cannot destroy those. I think this is uh, this is the longest I've played an Atari 2600 game on stream. I'm just gonna go until I die, until I lose all my lives. Not literally, like that. So what hit? I mean, there was nothing on the radar. Killer satellites. Yeah, I think I'm just getting bored with this. I wonder if the screen wraps around. You can, you can just fly over here and get it.
think that was my last thought. All right, that was that was kind of fun. Let's kill our satellites. Sadly, the best game I've played so far this stream. It's all good. Let's move on, shall we? Let's get through 1982. What's next, you ask? Uh, King Kong. King Kong. Which looks like a Donkey Kong ripoff. I guess whatever works, right? If it's popular, just rip it off. But in this case, it kind of came full circle. King Kong, trademark, has captured the girl and put her on top of the Empire State Building. You must climb up and save her, but watch out. So it is Donkey Kong. Uh, we want... I want the easiest game because these games cheat and they're just awful. So we want game number three. That's fun. Donkey Kong. Get Wait, it, they can go up? I guess so. Defying the laws of physics. Oh, so he's throwing them up, basically. But no, those... Um, I pushed jump. Why did you not jump? Pretty accurate representation of the Empire State Building. At least he jumps uh, a little better than Mario in Donkey Kong. Just a little. Yeah, should go in the hole. Another one should go in the hole. Oh, it did not go in the hole. So, but if I went over the hole, it would, uh... All right, that sucked. A lot of these games should just remain forgotten. What's next on the list? Yeah, those are those porno games. Oops. 
Next up is something called Lockjaw. And it looks like it's a shark variation of Pac-Man. Yo, yo, Lockjaw. Hopefully there's a manual. Oh, there is. And according to Atari Age, this game is extremely rare. Oh, the game was later released as Shark Attack. The name was changed due to a lawsuit over the name's similarity to the movie Jaws. Get over it. Let's see. So this would probably be better with an actual joystick. I'm playing with the PS4 analog controller, or the analog little nubbies. So this definitely, I think, would be better with the joystick. I mean, I, not, I'm not sure I would sue the game for having a name similar to Jaws, but I definitely would sue because it kind of resembles the movie, sort of. I mean, I know that sounds stupid, but um, what else is there? to do. I got it. I got all of the... That was Lockjaw. It's a good sound effect. And it's not even spelled with a K. It's spelled L-O-C-H-J-A-W. Because you know that they were like, hey, let's spell it that way, and Spielberg will sue us. Moving on to a game I've actually heard of. Lock in Chase. No records found. I just want a manual. Can you give me a manual? Gracias. The object of the game is to keep your thief one jump ahead of the police and pick up as many gold bars as you can because he's a thief. The police are trailing close behind. You'll need fancy footwork. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cops and robbers. Um, that's great. That's great. You can slam to, you can slam a door behind a thief, and I feel like there's really no points to this game other than to get a score, high score. Well, that's not how you do it. I thought I could. I okay. I wonder if you can place multiple ones. Oh, you can. I wonder how many. Probably should have read the manual. So they go away after a while, but that's okay. Well, as far as Pac-Man ripoffs go, this is decent. And we're just going to do it all over again. Oh, 
Okay, so when you place it, it just goes horizontal. I'm sure there's some kind of strategy to uh, yeah, get that. Yeah, how many lives do you get in this? I mean, I'm not complaining, but. Let's try that one more time. It wasn't half bad. It wasn't half good, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could have rounded that corner before it got me. So what determines where it goes? so they can turn around. So I'm guessing the layout is the same every board. It got me. It got me. Oh, they can go in the uh, little warps. Wish there was more to this game. Where, oh, you came from there, I got you. And that's it, that's Lock and Chase.
And that was meh. Kind of boring. So the next game looks like it's something called Lost Luggage. Yeah, I can guarantee I won't be playing this for long. So it's sort of like... Breakout, except you're not throwing anything back. Might be better with the joystick. And I'm already tired of this game. I mean, this is all it is. Which is fine. Can you really get all of them? Probably would be better with a joystick. You go diagonally better. Am I not out of lines yet? Please. Oh, maybe I am. Works for me. Lost luggage. That is a great sound. It's a big no for me. Not fun. Next up, something called Mad Way to Mad. This looks like another game I recently played on here. This looks This looks like Atlantis. Am I wrong? Let me pull up Atlantis. I might be wrong. Yeah, not quite. Mad. <laughs> Defend your future civilization's energy. They love these long sentences. Um, but a boo. We're just shooting. We're just shooting. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter at all.
probably would be better with the joystick. It's hard to get the right one. Thirty seconds. Moving right along. Let me pull it up so you have a visual reference while I look for the manual. Next up is something called Marauder. Marauder. We got a manual here. It's a one player game. A little bit of a story. You've landed on an alien planet and penetrated the enemy base, defended by, again, these run on sentences. Um, find the power center. What's, what's the point of this? Is there a point? There's magic armor that grants uh, invincibility. I don't know, this is too much, too many words. This is Marauder. Can I play? Do I have to push something? So this is a game where you can fire multiple times. However, um, so your the enemy does not become visible unless you are within a uh, visual range of them. I don't I think the gauge at the bottom that's going down is just a bonus gauge. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason. A rhyme or reason to the uh, maze. Can I bump into the wall or is this like berserk? Oh, I can. This kind of looks fun, but it's not.
I have no idea. I'm not sure there's much of a point. Okay, so I'm invincible, I guess. Unless I'm missing something, which is entirely possible, but I think I will be able to sleep well tonight. So, Wrong. So we're on to MASH, which is based on the classic TV show. This is the MASH I remember. I really need to type in the stars to get some search results on Atari H. That's not how you spell it, is it? Yeah. Wow, Atari H's uh, search engine sucks. You are Hawkeye Pierce. Chief Medical Surgeon of the 4077th MASH. Your responsibilities include, include rescuing injured men from the battlefield, performing surgery in the operating room, or, in an alternate game, picking up Colonel Potter's skydiving medics. You pilot your chopper low through the trees, avoiding shells fired at you from a North Korean tank. Too soon. After picking up the medicals, the medics are wounded and rushing them back to the hospital, the pressure really starts to get heavy. Time is running out for the injured men, and you must operate. There's a lot going on here, and yet nothing. So there are four variations. Game one is called Welcome to Korea. You must rescue more men than your computer opponent. All right, I'm already tired of this game. Let's try this. I can't. I can't move. Why? can't when I go down. So it's like operate. Is this, uh, it goes on and on? I'm done. That's retarded. Next up is a game based on a movie that I've never seen actually, and I'm surprised. Called Mega Force. I think it is two words. It's we have a manual. I'm not even reading the little backstory, I don't care. Um, 
to joystick game gray, so I can't skip it. And let's just see what happens here. Oh, nice. So it's sort of like Defender, except I don't have a radar. So I'm supposed to protect those, but I can crash into them. Oh, there's fuel. Do I need to fuel up? I don't know how because I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Let's move on. There's got to be some decent stuff. Probably not, though. Mega Mania is coming up next. Wow, those look suspiciously like a uh, another starship. What is this called? Mega Mania. Mega Mania. It's a frenetic shoot 'em up. If you think Mega Mania is just another space game, you're dreaming. And that dream will become a nightmare. A space nightmare. So prepare yourself for one of the most unreal experiences you'll ever encounter. Read these instructions before you begin. Give yourself a fighting chance. Nice. You control the fleet of mobile blasters at the bottom of your screen. Okay. I get it now. So I'm just playing for score or uh, until I lose all my lives. So it's a variation of uh, Centipede. I'm just going to restart. on black is messing with my eyes. Okay, so those, okay, I can dodge them when they reach the bottom. Why'd 
I gotta shoot stuff too. Those are supposed to be, I think, tires. I don't think I have patience for this. Well, that's Mega Mania. Obviously not fun. Mega Mania. Let's move along. Let's move along here. So... Up next, and I'm confused. So according to Wikipedia, next up would be Minor 2049er 2. But I didn't play the first one, which I have. And it says that, I guess the first game came out in 82, but Volume 2 came out in 83. So I don't know. I guess I'll just play the first one. Maybe. It's a Donkey Kong right Wait, Why did you jump twice? So I don't know what I need to do here. You know what, maybe I should have read the instructions. Well, there's a timer, but let me read the instructions. Bob through the mine, gathering blocks of ore. Really? So it looks like there are three levels, three screens. How do I kill these things? I mean, jump on him. So he's not weak like freaking Mario. He can jump on stuff. Oh, wait a minute, am I supposed? So he's making the ground. You have to be in the middle of the ladder. But I jumped on. You let me jump on the one down there.
Yeah, I'm not gonna. Well, let's see if I can jump over. I think I need to get those items, and that makes them killable. It looks like filling in the ground gives you points. So I need to jump over the slide. But I hit it. Alright, that was Minor 2049er starring Bounty Bob. So far, the best game tonight has been Killer Satellites. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We ain't doing that. So next up is... Mousetrap. Press the red button. A sharp tap of the red button changes the mouse into a dog. Press the red but button for a longer period to move the doors. Okay. So it's a Pac Man ripoff. I guess a variation. Oh, I see what I, I see what happened there. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of fun. This is mouse trap. And these green dots are apparently cheese. So it's just the same board over and over again. Seems like the cats got faster.
Yeah, so it's the same thing just over and over again. So it's kind of an endurance test. Alright, that's a mouse trap. I think I got the gist of it. It's a meh rating. Meh. I didn't hate it. Didn't like it. It seems like that's pretty much all all to the game, yeah. Hey. There's actually a game called Name This Game. Is that do I have this? Name this game. 1982. Name this game. What is what is this? What is this about? This is a one or two player game. You have discovered a long sought after buried treasure and just when you thought you have discovered ay 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 your shark, she's a shark, losing oxygen, all right. Is there a point to this? I will name this game Crapola. All right, let's just let's just do this. Get this over with. I'm supposed to be shooting. I'm, I'm hitting the blocks, but they're not going away. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I think I get it. We are just flying through these games tonight, and that's good. So the next game on here says PAL only. It's called Paris Attack. I don't have it anyway, so it's a moot point. So then next up is something called Phaser Patrol. I can tell. Excuse me, this is already going to be complicated for what it is. Yeah, the manual. Yeah, 
Yeah, this manual, yeah. I mean, this might be good for another system that's not so limited by the controller and just the technology. So I might skip this. Actually, let me just see. I'm not going to count this as a play. So we're just gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. So next up is a uh, so-called classic called Pitfall. Pitfall. Do I need a manual? Not really. Um, I'm probably just going to give up and lose. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm not reading. No. So you have 20 minutes to complete each adventure. Play until I lose. So there's nothing under here. So how do I get off? Okay, that's out. So now I need to jump on their heads while they are... Not like that. So you can't jump when their mouths are open? What's this way? Just snake. That's just the beginning. I don't know why people, I mean, I don't know why this is considered a classic. Not what I did, but thanks. It's a 
fire. All right, that's pitfall. That's pitfall. Pitfall. Oh no, gas, I died. Let's move on to something hopefully better. Just try to get the window, which is not cooperating. Come on. All right. Yeah, these have 1983, but on Wikipedia, oh, jeez, that's, that's rough on the ears. Polaris, or Polaris, doesn't really matter. Um, you've been the command, you're the commander of a Polaris class nuclear sub. All right, so we're fighting here. We're shooting. There might be 16 levels. Yeah, 16 levels, but I doubt I'll get past this screen. This is a screen. Okay, so you don't do that. See what they're doing here? That hit detection sucks. So it's just more of the same. Right. I won't be so upset when I quit coming. Okay. Oh, that's the game. Polaris or Polaris. I'm calling it not. It's kind of obnoxious, isn't it? Reactor should be the next game. Oh, seizure warning. Dang, that was a banging title song. Positrons, neutrinos, photons. These are just a few of the nuclear particles threatening to blow your ship apart. There's nowhere to run. No way of escaping. To survive, you must fight them. Okay. But that's only half the battle. While you try to destroy these dangerous particles, you must also try to stop the reactor's expanding core before it reaches meltdown. So board your ship and prepare to be bored. The object of the game is to destroy as many nuclear partic particles as you can before they smash your ship into pulp. 
Again, this seems really complicated for what it is. I'll give it a minute. Reactor. Not discovering any gems here, especially tonight. Um, let's see if I have it. It's called Rescue Terra One. According to Atari Ages, this game is extremely rare. Um, yeah, I'm shooting. Just keep shooting. Oh, so we're going, uh, we're at the top of the screen for a change. Is this all the game is? Oh, darn. Yeah, I'm tired of this game. I mean, if this is all there is. Rescue Terra 1.
This is Riddle of the Sphinx. Sphinx. I'm going to try to play this. It's an adventure game. Oh, good. Riddle of the Sphinx is a fairly complex game, meaning I want you to read the manual before playing. Well, I might not be playing this game because I, I can't do complex Atari 2600 games. No thanks. Wow. This is a heck of a manual. It's pretty long. Yeah, I'm going to skip this. I'm okay. So that means we're going to move along to another so-called classic. River Raid. Where are you? There you are. Right. I don't think I've ever played this game. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've never played it. Grandfather of all vertical shooter games. Give him the manual. Okay, so we're shooting for scores. Fuel gauge. Oh, that's how I feel about this. All right, let's just give this a minute. So it's kind of slow. I mean, do I need to shoot anything? Or can I do that? Why would you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Well, do I have one more turn? I mean, it's kind of silly you can't fly over. Just don't question it. Just move along, right? Move along. Anybody who's in, who enjoys these retro games, I, I I'm glad. I mean, these Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. No, retro is fine. What is the next game supposed to be? Yeah, I don't think I have that.
So this is Room of Doom. There's no man. So I'm just gonna wing it. See what happens. So that's not working, or I can't get it to work. I, I don't know what's happening. All right, so we're not gonna play Room of Doom, which is fine, because it looks stupid. That's fine. That's good. Well, I think we're gonna finish all the 1982 uh, third-party games. Which was kind of the plan. So should I look it up? So this is called Seahawk, but I don't Oh it crashed. So we're not we're not gonna play that. That's fine. Moving on, moving on. Why are you not? So this is called Sea Monster. There is a manual. Oh, is there a manual? Yes, manual scan. Um, I don't know what we're doing here. Are we firing? Are we shooting things? Yeah, we're shooting. We're shooting things. And it crashed. Huh. I'm okay with that too. I can't hate it if I don't play it. Right, let's move on. There's Shark Attack, but it's a re-release of Lockjaw, which has subtle differences. I'm okay. Sky Jinx is up next. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I hate you. Why are you not giving me the freaking... Sky Jinx. Looks like a game. Sky Jinx. Uh, bada bada boo. Trying to complete the course in the shortest time possible. Must fly to the right of the red pylons to the left of the blue. Well, it's that's too complicated already. I mean, I have to. What if I just? What if I don't? Did I miss something? Uh, that... How can I get over there in time? Uh, 
I'm already done with this game. Uh, oh no, I crashed. Oh no, I crashed again. Next, next. There's a game I actually recently tried to play, but I just could not. It is. Smurfs Rescue in Gargamel's Castle. And for this, I'm definitely going to need a manual because when I tried to play it, I couldn't do anything. I mean, granted, the game could be busted, but let's take a look. Um, Gargamel has captured Smurfette. He keeps her trapped on a shelf high above his laboratory floor. All right, all right. So we're going to control stick, run, duck, and jump. Oh, so up is jump in this. Uh, yeah, I, I hate games like that. Hate it. And the red button, the action button, is used to begin a new game. So they could have just put jump on that button, but they didn't. Um, I, but I jumped. See, this is what I was talking about. I couldn't get past this. shit called yeah I mean whatever rescue in Gargano A lot of people, not a lot, but people find Smurfette attractive, and it's just, that's special. We're going to get a big hell fuck now. Not fun. Stay away from Smurfs. And in reality, too, in, in your everyday life. Stay away from Smurfs. Ba -da -ba. Oh, we still have many, 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 many games in 1982. Hopefully, a lot of them won't work. This might be one. It's okay. There's another one in here. Uh, let me try this one, I guess. Oh, because it was paused. Is this is called Sneak and Peek.
Actually, can I can I get a manual before I even? Um, I guess it's this. I mean, is this really what it is? So this is video hide and seek. I will give it a chance. Because I, I never thought, hey, I want to play a video game version of hide and seek. That almost looks pornographic. Contract, they should have worried about making a good game. Let's move on here. Let's move on. Really wanted to finish these 1982 Atari 2600 games tonight. This is not looking too good. This is space attack. The object of the game is to defend your mothership from attacking aliens. Um, yeah, I don't think we play this. Can't even get it. Seems a little complicated. It's not a, a shooter. Eh, life's too short to play crappy games, right? Way too short. Let's move on to something called Space Cavern. Space Cavern, your command of blah, blah, blah. Joystick, so it's a shooting thingy. Uh, there are 48 exciting variations. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're just shooting here. Oh, I can't stop yawning. Wonder why. Okay, wait a minute. How come they look like... Why? Uh, why can't I shoot... Like I was shooting to the left. I don't, I don't understand. 
Where's the menu item? Use your joystick to move your space to the left and right. Pulling back toward yourself causes them to find them in a minute. Oh, so pushing down, you fire to the right. Okay, that's, that's silly, but I get it. of these games. Ha! 
get 20,000 Oddly hypnotic. Very repetitive. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I get one more chance. That was a decent game. That was kind of fun. That was Space Cavern. I wasn't sure how I would have, how I would like the um, firing left to right by pushing up and down, but it kind of added a little uh, different dimension to the gameplay. It was kind of fun. But we must move on. We must. Oh, we have many, many, many other games. I don't think I'm going to finish them all tonight. Let's see if I can get to through the SPA games, the SPs. Space Jockey. Single player game, you are a space jockey at the controls of a high, highly maneuverable attack saucer, which appears on the left side of the screen. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -boo, ba -da -ba -da -boo, shoot down as many of the enemy objects as possible. So we're just shooting to shoot. To shooter, space jockey. <laughs> All right, let's start that over. My eye is just, I have an eyelash. Oh. I gotta get this. There it is. Was I yanked out all the eyelashes? Well, so far, this isn't going so well. Damn, why is this so fast? Is this on? Let me see if there's an easy game. Oh, this might be the hardest setting. So I want, I want 16. Still hard. Wow. Okay. I just I died. Just not feeling that. Plus, it seems a little cheap anyway. They're not all winners, that's for sure. So we're going to try to play something called Spider Fighter. You know, they were proud of that title. They're like, it rhymes. It rhymes. Colorful and fast-paced shooter in which you must protect your orchard from waves. Oh. Um. All right. It looks like it, it is what it is. It is what it is.
You alright? You alright, little guy? Oh, made a weird noise. Alright, so these deaths are already too cheap for my liking. We can move along here. Spider. Fighter. It's all good. Oh, I'm gonna love this game. I remember this game. What game is it, you ask? It is Spider-Man. We will see. So this looks like, uh, what was the game I played? Um, you only have one life. And too many words. There are too many words in the manual. Okay, so that has to land. Okay. Has to land on the building. Let's give this a couple minutes. For instance, you can do that. You can't retract it. Spider-Man. I mean, you can't retract the web. So what's the point? Oh, during a climb, you can stop Spider-Man before he reaches the end of the web. Ah. Life's too short to play shitty games. This next up would have been Spider Maze, but we already played that earlier as Inca Gold, so I'm definitely skipping that. This is called Squeeze Box. It's a single player game. It's the ultimate escape game. Our pistol packing jailbird has got to shoot like crazy to knock out an escape route through the walls before they close in on him. The longer it takes, the faster they come. That's what she said. So aim carefully. 
But don't rush out too fast because the next room is worse and you're getting points for each block. Boring. All right. So there are... It is what it is. You have to hold the fire button down to change the angle of your shot. games are which I mean they might have satisfied us uh, you know back in 1982 but they do not stand the test of time at all there's so many of these I got another hour I'm gonna try to get through looks like uh, maybe 15 games about 15 games Let's see if I can do it one hour yeah you didn't need to see my belly or my crotch or did you um um so possibly next is a game called Snake with three S's. Seizure warning. Let's get a manual up in here. Let's get a manual. You are a daring big game hunter on an expedition to the heart of the Amazon. What is with these long sentences? The game being hunted is you by pterodactyls, trachodons, and other prehistoric creatures. Luckily, you find refuge in an ancient abandoned fortress where you're protected from the jungle outside. Or are you? Dun, dun, dun. So what's the point here? God, I can't stop yawning. Did the game die? You only get one life. Oh. I don't. I don't know what. Is going on. Fire button. 
able to fire in another direction. It takes a moment. These are bad controls. So position your gun by moving your joystick controller at exact right angles. Okay, my, my brain can't handle this. Let's go to something else. Something that I don't have. Oh yeah, dude, it's right there. I got it. It's called Star Gunner, as you can see. Star Gunner. Star Gunner. Uh, I don't know. No manual there. Apparently this game is very rare according to Atari Age. There's no manual. It's, it's rare, so you're not going to find it. So that was true. So I can't kill that thing up there. Difficult game, even more difficult. And have an enemy you can't kill. Shoot shit at you from the top of the screen. And then have enemies appear. Ooh, what was that? Enemies appear or spawn. Or behind you. That's Star Gunner. That is Star Gunner. Wow. Going through a lot of games tonight. That's good. Now we go from Star Gunner to something called Star Master. First person space shooter was a popular game, wasn't it? Uses the black and white switch to toggle your star map on and off. Oh yeah, this seems a little too complicated, so I'm just gonna skip it. Let's move on to something else. It's 
These bad games are frying my brain. This next number is Star Strike. There's a manual scan, which means I gotta look at bad pictures. Quickly bomb eight alien missile silos. I don't even know why I'm bothering you. This is not gonna. Alright, let's do this. How can I judge the distance? That sucked. Most of these games. Moving right along. Oh, why did I do that? Thanks, thanks. I mean, I could read the instructions, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I just want to get through these. Star. Star Voyager. Which I'm pretty sure will be just as convoluted and for no good reason. A shooter, I guess. Let's give this thirty seconds. Okay, so you have limited. I think I gave it 30 seconds, no? Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. So, wow, the instructions are really basic. Um, so it looks like this is a Defender ripoff. Thank <laughs> you. 
Caesar one. Get over. Good. I mean, really, that's the whole point of that game. And you know, I would have probably asked for this game for my birthday or Christmas because it was Star Wars. And I would have just probably cried because that was horrible. So next up is something called Suicide Mission. The Battleground, a growing abscess, perilously close to the human heart. Invasion of Lethal Voice shrink down now. So this is Fantastic Voyage. So they're ripping off Fantastic Voyage. Yes, I want to play it. Thanks. So what do I do? So it's asteroids. So they're ripping off asteroids and Fantastic Voyage. So. I hate the asteroid uh, controls. Lasers or bullets or whatever wrap around, it seems. That's suicide mission. Wow. So next up is Super Challenge Baseball. I don't like sports, and I like sport video games even less. Back when growing up, I uh, did like baseball, and I guess I do like tennis. Let's just see how this looks. Super Challenge Baseball. Oh, that looks horrible. Oh. Uh, I typed football. Maybe did I? Do, 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 do. 
so mm, you know playing any kind of sport games on the Atari 2600 is a fool's errand after this it was a uh, Super Challenge Football. I mean, if it plays like 10 Yard Fight, I'll play it. Yeah, but I'm bada boo. Okay. No out of bounds. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. All right, moving right along. Still got about 40 minutes. I could get through these. Got about 8 to 10 more. And we can move on tomorrow because I'm going to do a little surprise stream tomorrow, Tuesday. So this is Tapeworm. That's not obnoxious at all. Okay. Cool your jets. You don't know what a spectra worm is? Well, we are the little critters who clean up the fruit left over in your television from that other video game that you that, that you play. That's funny. And we do this all for beans. To see me at work and help me out, just plug me into the game console. Blah, blah. Too much talking here. The idea is to eat each of the ten beans before the mystery beetle moves across the screen from left to right. Is it going to work, though? Doesn't look like it. Oh, because I paused it. Right, right. Oh, I see. I see. So you're just controlling the direction.
Okay, so don't hit those. At least with the yellow. I guess it can fly across your body. Try that one more time. That wasn't too horrible. That went right towards my character. Great sound effects. so I can get them all. Okay, so oh, you have a certain time limit to get that? Yeah, this one from kind of fun to meh. And your 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 snake or whatever it is gets longer. Alright. It's okay, little guy. 
Oh, the screen goes dark. I think the game is just at this point it's just rigged. They want you to lose. is fun, but the execution is lacking. Oh darn. Let's move on. We got about half an hour to finish several other games. At least eight. This is called Tax Avoiders. Tax Avoiders. They really made Atari 2600 games about anything. Anything. According to Atari Age, an actual IRS employee wrote the game. Your goal is to avoid paying taxes and the IRS agent is the bad guy. It shares gameplay mechanics with Porky's. The goal of the player is to become a millionaire after taxes in one year. There are obstructions. The years divide. What is this? This is overly complicated for what it is. understand what the point of this is. care to learn this game.
So this is Towering Inferno. And if I had to guess, I'd say it was based on the movie. Maybe, maybe not. Your mission is to rescue as many people as possible. There are nine buildings with nine floors. Uh, extinguish the flames, whatever. It's on fire. Is the game not working, maybe? Well, I don't know if Towering Inferno was a video game adaptation of the movie, but uh, I mean, sure it looked like it. This is uh, Tron Deadly Discs, not Tron Deadly Tron. I might just type in Tron because Atari Age sucks. There we go. Now this requires, it says Atari joystick, okay. Um, what are we doing here? Is this like the, <sighs> discs. How come you can fire too? This is just like the movie. Okay, so I can't fire until my disc comes back to me, but they can fire whatever. This game just goes on and on. And it doesn't hit your opponents on the way back. Cool. Fade out for an Atari 26. That's it. All right. Tron Deadly Discs. Was it fun? Meh. Tron Deadly Discs. It was a meh. I mean, might have been better with two players. If it is a two player game, I don't even know. Doesn't really look like it. That's okay. 
is that's all right. Let's move on. Let's move on. We're getting to the nitty gritty here. We got a couple more. 1982 Atari 2600 games. This is called Turmoil. And that looks pretty fast paced. Turmoil. Oodles of bullets can be on screen at once. Yeah, so it just looks like it is what it is. You just go nuts. Let's go nuts. It's a meh rating. Wow, that's really obnoxious. So we may be playing Venture minus the ad.
Manual not found. Well, you said there's there's one here. Uh, reissued by Atari in 1988. So maybe that has a manual. Oh, venture minus add, and it's an adventure-looking game. Nice. Oh, is this? I don't know if I'm going to play this. So it's kind of a ripoff of... Berserk. Yeah, you can't touch anything, I guess. An adventure. It's like... The best of both worlds. But don't touch anything. See what you did there. So that's me. I gotta start all the way over. Like really? Okay, so you can't go. Damn it. You can't touch anything in this game. I want to try it, but... Meh. 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 Let's move on. Come on. Got about 20 minutes to do like five more games. So this is called Vulture Attack. According to Atari Age, this is extremely rare. There's no manual. So it kind of looks like it's a two player game. Oh, it crashed. So we won't be playing this at all. And that's fine. That's fine. Ba It's called Wabbit.
You are a farmer named Billy Sue trying to protect your crops. One patch in particular is giving you trouble. It's surrounded by ten holes from which wabbits dart into your field. Scare off the pesky creatures by throwing watten eggs at them. Aye. I mean, this is just, this is going to be it until... So, oh, I see, so... I don't know if this ever ends. All right, I'm done with Wabbit. Um, they're having fun on screen, but I'm not. All right, so we're not going to play that game because I don't have it. Yeah, I'm not going, no. Four more games. And then we're done with 1982, never to return. This is Wizard of War. I've heard of this game. I don't think I've ever played it. War, W O R. Welcome to the mystical kingdom of war. You have been placed in command of an elite squadron of warriors, assigned the task of outwitting the sinister wizard of war. As you descend into his diabolical, diabolical dungeons, you will encounter deadly warlings and maybe even the wizard himself. Your only weapons are your trusty laser, your radar scanner, and your ability and cunning. You will need them all as you attempt to beat the wizard and earn the title of Warlord. Prepare now, and then let the battle begin. Accumulate points. So uh, this is just... Points. Thrilling. So where's my... So what do I do? Oops. 
use the joystick to maneuver the warrior push up on Oh. Yeah, let's start over. You have to push up to move your character. Okay, I am. Controller's on. Is it not working? Yeah, this might not be working. That's fine. That's fine. They're not all going to work, right? All right, three more games. And we're done with 1982. This is Word Zapper, as you can see. It's a one or two player game. You must shoot each letter in perfect order. Let's try it. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, okay. It was them. No. As if this wasn't hard enough, you have to dodge. Do I have to start over? Oh, you can fire them if you push in the direction. It's a little convoluted. I don't think my brain can handle that. So I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to rate this. Okay, so up next is Worm War 1. Noise, thanks. Um, your mission as a master tank commander is to drive through the city of Teriyaki and blast away as many worms and blocks as possible without running out of fuel. Do to do up to speed up. Okay, so how do I get fuel? Driving through a gas station. Clever. All right, so I guess we're just playing for scores here. Could have been like a stage in sympathy. Thank <laughs> you. 
gas station. One more. I still have another life. That's okay. That's okay. So that was one more one. I... Great sound. All right. And now the final Atari 2600 game from 1982. Zaxxon. That doesn't sound good, does it? I mean, I see what I'm supposed to be doing. There are different ways for things. But this being on the Atari. Isn't exactly uh, easy to discern what's what. What happened? Did I run into the room? Seizure warning.
This is absolutely boring. All right, that was Zach's on that. That was crap. And with that game, we are finished with the Atari 2600 games of 1982. And it feels good because that was a bad stretch. Wow. Wow. I mean, the best game, the best rating I have is a kind of fun, two kind of funds for Killer Satellites, which was that Defender ripoff, and Space Cavern, which was the one where I, uh, you push up to fire left and you push down to fire right while shooting enemies from above. Wow. Anyway, I... I need to upload this list so you guys can see. Just keep forgetting. So I will probably stream tomorrow. We're going to do the first party Atari 2600 games from 1983. There are quite a bit. Maybe not. There, there are a few that we're going to skip, like the Sword Quest games. Because I'm not going to play any RPGs on the Atari 2600. Um, so that might just be the stream tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe not. But the third party games for 1983, there are, there are a lot. Probably just as many in 1983 as there were 82. The good thing is after 83... The video game market crashed, so there aren't so many of these. Like, uh, let's see, first party Atari games for 1984. There's five. For, for the third party 1984, there are maybe 15. So once we get past 83, we'll be done with the Atari 2600 in no time. And then we'll move on to the Atari 7800. And then we'll move on to the Intellivision and then ColecoVision. Oh, there, there's a lot of overlap there. So I, I don't know if I will play the same game on different platforms. I probably will. Um, at least, you know for a minute or two. Well, yeah, that was something, wasn't it? We are done with the Atari 2600 for 1982. It was a big year. But, uh, it's no surprise the video game industry crashed. Just so many horrible games. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do, hopefully do some more of this tomorrow. Um, maybe start in the afternoon. I don't know. I might start in the afternoon. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Um, the, the, the easiest way to know when I'm streaming is to follow me. So, do it. I appreciate it. If you don't, whatevs. Do what you dig. Anyway, I uh, hope you have a good day, good night, good whatever. And I'll see you next time.